I was interested in it only because I like how you wake up and your lips automatically look like you kind of have like the gloss lip tint on it. So that's what I wanted to do. My lips are very sensitive. So I don't know. But I'm going to let you guys know the details. I'm just my lips now. And um, I will be back to show you guys the finish. Look. So embarrassed to show you guys what it's looking like because it is so swollen but i'm gonna do the reveal right now because this is all a part of the process so here we go <laughs> so she only did my top lip not my bottom lip so that's why it's so swollen so my bottom lip was always more pink than my top my top one was the one that was like really um, darker colored I guess more pigmented so she just basically kind of like neutralized it and made it more equal crazy i admit that but um i'm interested in seeing what happens after the healing process but i can already tell that i'm really gonna love it because they are more equal to one another now i may actually come back and just get like the darkness on these side neutralized but yeah this is the lip blushing process so i'm excited about the healing journey for this because this lip needs to come down look that's incredible to me all right guys so today is day one um since i've gotten my lip blush um this is where we are um it's still a little swollen it's still a little tender um unlike yesterday i can like feel the line where she did you know the procedure so i can feel it, it kind of just feels like a whole bunch of like scratches on my lips the more i use the amd ointment the more those lines will fade so i'm just going to apply the andy on my bottom lip and just rub it together i'm still very happy i'm excited to see what it um looks like i think the healing process for the lips is going to be a lot easier and i think it's because i have to keep it lubricated way more than i was doing my eyebrows well, yeah i will be back tomorrow so you can see day two and see if any peeling has happened yes welcome to day two i wanted to come on here when i didn't have any type of like lubrication on my lips i had a meeting and i was so self-conscious because i knew that he was watching my lips it was horrible it was really bad um you can literally see it it literally looks like like dead skin all along here let's get up close and personal can you see all of that that's literally my skin peeling so it originally like started here that's where i started to notice it more and then throughout the day i don't know if it's because i haven't been able to use so much ointment it's just been like peeling all along here we're gonna put the a and d on right now because this I've never seen my lips like this. So I got my Q-tips and I got my A&D. So you're just going to apply that to the top lip. I'm going to put a little extra good. My lips are really dry. I can still feel the peeling. But it definitely looks better. You can kind of still see the peeling happening. But it definitely looks better. It doesn't look as dry. So again, this is day two. I am not looking forward to day three because I am already looking crazy totally different process than it was for my eyebrows i guess the pro the healing process for the lips is like a lot quicker because you know you're always doing something with your lips you drink you eat so it's constant like friction constant moisture constant you know movement and stuff like that so i'm assuming that's why this process is going a lot faster and a lot uglier yeah i'll be back tomorrow for day three guys i totally forgot to post a video <laughs> yesterday on my lips yesterday would have been day three but i'm here for day four before i get started with my day so this is where we are most of the peeling has gone away definitely happy about that my lips are starting to feel like you know my regular lips i'm gonna put a little bit of a and d you already know how that goes but this is day four um like i said the healing process for the lips has been super fast super simple I'm waiting to see, you know, the day seven mark. I guess it's a little more compatible to my bottom lip. It's not as dark, maybe, but I think I had um, different expectations. So I'm going to wait till day seven. Then I'm definitely going to come back because I'm going to do a touch up. I know that I'm going to do a touch up because I want to see it at its full potential. So, yeah, this is day four and I will be back tomorrow for day five. So see you tomorrow.
what's up guys so today is day four what's today today's friday today is day five i got these done on sunday so today is day five day five this is where my lips are today all of the peeling is officially gone so that's where my lips are now i can't really see the difference from what they are my camera cut off but i can't really see the difference from the way that my lips used to look till now i'm gonna post a picture so you guys could see um like look at my lips now and then i'm gonna post a picture of what they looked like before i did the lip blushing and i'm a little sad that i really can't notice a real difference i don't know if after these seven days it's gonna look um a little different but as of now Mm -mm. I know they said that you need like multiple sessions and I also know that I didn't do the lip neutralization so maybe that makes all the difference you're supposed to do like the lip neutralization and then the blush I just did strictly blush so I don't know if that's the reason why I don't really see the difference but either way I love my lips but yeah so today is day five and this is where we are a little disappointed but can I really be disappointed I got it for free I don't know. I might change my mind. I might not. I don't really know. We're going to stick around and find out. I just want it to be as, you know, transparent as possible. I don't want anybody to, you know, spend money on something that they're not going to be happy with. It's not in no way to bash the services. I think she did an amazing job. You guys saw it in the beginning. Um, you definitely saw the color. I'm just seeing like as of now, I'm not really sure if it's worth doing. That's my honest opinion, just mine. Um, don't let it stop you, but I just want you to have all the facts, okay? I will see you guys tomorrow for day six. All right, guys, today is day six. I almost didn't make it. It is about, it's 9, 10, so I wanted to come on here and show you day six. We have one more day, which is tomorrow, and that'll be the completion of, um, you know, the week healing process for my lips. But as I said yesterday, my lips is pretty much just all healed it's so funny so yesterday i was telling you guys how i can't really see a difference but in all my pictures that i've been posting lately on instagram my friends are like oh my god i can see the difference because they knew that i did it or whatever but to me it's just like i don't see it but they do so i'm gonna do a close-up you guys tell me what you think let's do it i don't really see it but my friends keep telling me that they see it so i don't know if it's because i told them or if they really can see it but I don't really see it but again I live with myself every day so you know like when you're losing weight it's like everybody else around you notices it before you actually notice it this might be one of those scenarios yeah this is where we are now I will see you guys tomorrow for day seven welcome to day seven if you've been here for all of the days prior to this you know that I have been engaging in this permanent makeup world and i recently did my um lip blushing procedure today is day seven so you're gonna get my final thought if you've been following you already know that i said that this healing process has been nothing like my eyebrows i did the eyebrow uh, micro bleeding that video should be up already so if you haven't watched that go watch that i know shameless plug today is about day seven of my lip blushing um procedure so again the healing process was so much different it was faster i think by day three or four i no longer had any more peeling going on on my lips the swelling went down i think on day two or three these are my final results on day seven i'm gonna get closer i mean i'm very pleased with it um like i said on day six i can't really see too much of a difference but when i show other people um where i am today they definitely notice and they're like oh my god i love it i love it so like i said i see myself every single day so i'm not gonna really be able to tell the difference i mean sometimes i do like especially in the light i definitely see how the top lip is matching the bottom lip a lot more i'm definitely gonna go back for the touch up in four to five weeks so my final thoughts would i recommend this procedure absolutely um i know i keep saying that i'm not really sure if i can see the difference but the more i look at them like especially in the sun and sometimes like when i wake up i definitely notice a difference um, i noticed that my cupid's bow is a lot more pronounced i'm gonna definitely come back after a month to show you guys after the touch-up just so we can see where we are at that point 
You have to do more than one procedure to get your desired look. So I'm pretty confident that after my touch up, it's going to be a little more pink to get the darker color out of it. So recap, the let me do the pros and cons. So the pros of getting this procedure is obviously your confidence is a boost. Um, two, you don't have to wake up and put, you know, too much, you know, lip gloss and stuff. I'm a lip gloss girl. I'm not really a lipstick girl. You won't really have to really do that much. You could put just like Vaseline or like A&D ointment and be out the door. Cons. It's a little painful. It is a little painful. Uh, my pain threshold is really high. But for someone who cannot take pain, because they do not numb for the lip procedure, I don't know if you want to go through that. But pain is beauty, so you got to pick your poison. As far as cost, so like I said, I was a lip model for her because she needed one, so I didn't have to pay for this procedure. Now, I believe the price point for this procedure is about $500, a little bit over $500. Um, and if you're not going to do the neutralization, you're going to go straight to the lip blushing. I don't know if you're going to want to pay that price point because like I said, I don't see much of a difference at this point right now um so if that's something that you know you're gonna be a little nervous about you have to keep in mind that you're going to have to go back for multiple sessions before you get that desired look that you're going for the first procedure is about 500 550 and then the touch-ups are about 150 dollars each time so if you're not willing to continuously pay to get that desired look i probably would just not do it so those are my cons but overall i am thrilled that she was able to use me and i'm happy that i was able to get it done without having to pay because i don't know how i feel if i pay for it um again she already expressed to you me and i'm sure she tells all her clients that you know you're going to have to come back you're going to have to do another procedure your first procedure is not going to give you that full effect that you're looking for and some people like to go way brighter than what i'm trying to achieve and like before this top lip was dark it wasn't like super super dark like some of the lips that i've seen her um do but for me it was pretty dark being able to do this procedure i just want to see where we'll end up after a touch up or two those are my final thoughts you have to figure it out for yourself i was as honest as possible i definitely think that if this is something you're looking into you should do it i mean if you're anything like me you're not gonna let anyone's opinion sway you from doing what you want to do anyway do what makes you happy that's all that matters at this point but thank you guys so much for watching thank you for coming on this journey with me and i will see you in my next video